Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film a what's in my travel bag. And this is pretty much my beauty travel bag. And right now it's extremely full just for the simple fact that I am going on a cruise. And the cruise is going to be a week. So typically I don't pack as much stuff as I packed in this today. But I wanted to share with you guys things I would typically pack and just give you an, an idea of what I include in my travel bag. I don't usually pack this much. I try to be conscious of how much stuff I pack because typically what I find that I do is pack a lot of palettes because they're just a really easy one-stop shop thing. You don't have to pack multiples, but because I'm going away for a week, I feel like I'm having to pack a little bit more. And because I'm going to be on a cruise in the middle of the ocean, I do not want to forget anything. So yeah, that's kind of why I overpacked a little bit, but I'm just going to share with you anyways. So I'm just going to jump into it and get started. So the first of which I'm going to show you are going to be the beauty products I packed. And first and foremost, I feel like it's really important to pack items that you know you're going to use every day. Like you're going to pack things that you're going to have multiple uses out of and not just like wear it just for one time or something like that. So what I did was I used a lot of palettes that I know I absolutely love and I know I'm going to use a lot on the cruise. So the first palette I'm going to share with you guys is one that I made myself. It's my favorite go-to palette and it is a combination of MAC shadows on this side and it's just colors that I typically gravitate towards and on the other side has the Makeup Geek Foil eyeshadows which I absolutely love. I love these shadows. They're some of my favorite eyeshadows of life so this palette is going to be one that I take with me because it's something that I'm going to use constantly and I bring it on almost every trip because I just feel like you can't go wrong with it because it's got my knots, my neutrals, my transition shades as well as my pops of color. The next eyeshadow palette I'm going to share with you guys is one from Too Faced. It is the Sweet Peach palette. I love this palette. I would just generally pack just this alone. That other one is a little bit extra. I do love that palette, but this one is the one I've been gravitating towards. And I did mention this in my favorites video. So this is one that if you had to choose, obviously I made that one myself. But this one is a great one that you can just buy and it's all put together already. So the next item I'm going to share with you guys are like my face products and my primers and things like that. So the first one I'm going to show you is the Marc Jacobs. This is the Invisible Undercover Perfect Coconut Face Primer. I love this. It's a really nice hydrating face primer and it looks really nice on the skin and I feel like it always sets my foundation up for a really smooth canvas and it just glides on very easily so that is why I packed this not to mention that I'm going to be in the sun and sometimes I feel like the sun can be very drying so that is why I am packing this particular primer. The next thing I'm going to share with you guys is the Kat Von D high voltage eye primer. This is my go-to eye primer. I feel like it's the best eye primer on the market because no matter what I pair with it, it just is such a great canvas. It's absolute perfection. And if you watch my channel, you know I've been using this since the beginning of times. And I have a million and one MAC paint pots and I never use them. Like very rarely do I use them because this one has been my ride or die. The next item I'm going to share with you is the NARS Creamy Concealer. This is in the color biscuit and this is my favorite concealer because I feel like it just gives me the least amount of creasing it photographs beautifully I can use it as my brow bone highlight as well so that's why I'm packing this and it's just so easy it's small it's convenient the next item I'm going to share is going to be my Lorac Frontline Pro Eyeliner. Now typically when I go on vacation I like to pack two of these guys because sometimes I feel like they can run dry or sometimes I pick up a dry one and one that's good. So I like to bring two just in case because I'm not going to have the option and wing liner is a must absolutely every day. So I have to have this in my travel bag so this is the one that I love the most out of every liquid liner that I've ever used. So I'm going to pack this bad boy with me. The next item I'm going to be showing you guys is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. I love this dip brow because I like to carry two brow products. Usually the dip brow in a brow pencil because the dip brow is great for when you want a really defined, like cutting edge, really I want to say a really glam brow and I feel like the dip brow really does that for me so that is why I packed this because 
I like to have the option of a day-to-day -day brow and a glam brow and this is the glam brow that I'm probably going to be wearing at night time to my formal dinners and things like that. The next item I'm going to share with you guys is my Becca Ever, what is it called? Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is in the color Opal. Now if you watch my channel, you know I love this. I use this so much. It's like all the way down to here because I use it so much. This is my favorite liquid um, highlighter. I feel like it gives me the best results and I do love the cover effects ones but this one is my absolute favorite. So this is why I'm going to be taking this on the go with me. The next item I'm going to share with you guys is going to be the It Cosmetics. This is the Celebration Foundation in the color Rich. Now if you watch my channels, you know when I prime my eyes and my eyelids, I use this setting powder to just set it all in place. It is my favorite setting powder for my eyes and you can tell it's my favorite because I hit pan. So this is what I travel with always. It's just my staple beauty product that I always use on a daily basis. The next item I have in here is going to be a bronzer. So the bronzer of choice I'm bringing with me is the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronzer. This is in the color UK01B or 18. I love this bronzer because it's not too gray, it's not too matte, it's just the perfect bronzer for me and it's actually what I've been gravitating towards when I do my makeup and I just feel like it's just the perfect color bronze that I want, especially being in the sun I feel like this is the perfect bronzy shade that's going to complement my skin tone even when I have a tan. The next item I'm going to share with you guys is a foundation. So the foundation I chose to bring with me is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and that is because it is just a great coverage foundation and because it photographs so beautifully. I love the way it lays on my skin. It is one of my favorite foundations of all time and I feel like it's just going to be something that I can always rely on no matter what. If I'm going out in the day or at night, I just feel like I can intensify it or dull it down if I want to up up the amp, but I know it's going to give me unbelievable coverage and it's not going to give me like wretched flashback or anything like that. So that is why I chose this foundation. I also chose one other foundation just for the simple fact that I just like variety and sometimes you just need two. So the second one I'm going to bring with me is the Cover X Cover FX Foundation. This is a natural finish oil free foundation in the color N70. I love this. I've been traveling with this foundation a lot as well. And I think that this one is absolutely amazing. This is probably my next favorite after the Estee Lauder foundation. So because not every day am I going to be wearing a full face foundation, but I would like a little bit of coverage and not to mention it just has a little bit of SPF in it, 30. I'm going to be taking the Lorac. This is the BB cream in the color tan. I like this because it gives you a light coverage, but it also protects your skin. Being that I'm going to be in the sun, it's really important for me to protect my skin and have sunscreen on. Not to mention it's a add-on because it's like a really nice texture to the face. It doesn't feel cakey. It's very soft and I love the way it applies and not to mention it gives you a little bit of coverage. So if you have problem areas and you don't want your face to be completely bare, this is a really great option to take with you. So moving on from that, I'm going to share with you the pencil I'm choosing to bring with me. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the color Chocolate. I love this pencil because I just feel like it gives me so much precision and it's so easy and it just glides on. It makes your brows so effortless and it's just so easy to use. And I think that I can obviously use this day to day, but I can also use this at nighttime too if I don't feel like using the pomade. I feel like this is a really great alternative as well and it's just super nice. And I love the fact that it has spoolie on the end, so it's just a one-stop shop product and it's just very, very convenient. The next item I have in here is my Anastasia Beverly Hills tweezers. I currently need to do my brows, but I'm going to get them done before I go. But this is great for getting rid of like any sparse hairs or any hairs that you might miss or applying your lashes. I don't use lashes, but if you want to apply your lashes, you can use this guy. And I like to have a pair of tweezers with me just because you get those impromptu hairs that like show up when they're not supposed to. So I like to have this bad boy around to just get rid of those problem hairs and leave a smooth canvas to work with. So as far as lip products goes, I I have quite a bit of lip products because 
I feel like you can just change the look so easily with your lips. And the lip products I chose were the Smashbox Liquid Lipstick. This is a really deep brown shade. This is in the color True Grit. I love this. This is really great. It's just something completely edgy and different. So if I want to have like a really edgy look, I will include this in my look. And the next thing I packed was the Matte Lipstick in the color world this is a matte lipstick if you are familiar with the lower world lip liner this is the lipstick version of it I love that lip liner so I thought that bringing the lipstick would be easy and it would be convenient as well because you could pair it with so many different looks the next lipstick I'm gonna bring with me is max ruby woo because you always need to have a matte red lip like that just goes without saying so I mean I feel like I don't have to go into depth of why I'm packing this. I just feel like it's always good to have a nice matte red lip. The next item I'm going to share with you is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. This is my favorite go-to lip product I want to say because it's just so beautiful. It's just a mauve, beautiful, beautiful lip color. Like this is completely up my alley. I love this for day to day. I feel like I could wear this like pretty much every day and be okay with it. And this is in the color Soft Spoken. I've spoken about this before in so many of my videos because it's just such a great item and it feels really moisturizing and it feels hydrating on the lips in addition to giving you that semi-matte like look of a lip product on. The lip liner I'm choosing to bring with me, I'm only bringing one, is my Laura Geller. This is the Pout Perfection lip liner it's waterproof and it's in the color petal this is my favorite lip liner of all time i've spoken about it so much on my channel and i just love it so i feel like it can be paired with any one of these besides the ruby woo probably but it's a great item to have and it's just very universal which is why i'm packing it so as far as eyes go i forgot to mention the eyeliners i'm going to be bringing with me so i feel like when you're going on a trip it's just pretty staple to have black so i'm bringing my buxom this is my liner in Call Me. I'm bringing this one because I know it's not going to run on me. It's not going to drag down. It's not going to just be all over the place. It stays put and I can rely on it for that. You can also pack the NARS Via Benito liner as well. That one's a great one too. But the Bucks one, Buxom one is my favorite because it's just super black and I love that when I'm using it in my waterline. And the second liner I'm going to be choosing to bring with me is Max Costa Riche because this is just one of my favorite eyeliners of all time. It is a beautiful red brown and it's just something different when you want to add that depth and definition to your waterline but you don't want to use a harsh black. I feel like this is a really great alternative. And then um, there are a couple more palettes I'm going to be showing you. So another product I have is the Graftopian. This is the Banana Cream Pie Setting Powder. This is my favorite setting powder for underneath my eyes. So of course I'm going to be bringing with me because I know it's not going to give me crazy flashback. It's not going to be too drying underneath that area. And I'm just very particular with the setting powders I use underneath my eyes because some of them can be very drying and look very like cakey. So that one never fails me and I know I can use it every single day. For cream contouring, I am bringing the Laura Mercier Contour Kit. I am bringing this one as opposed to the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, even though I love that one. It's got a little bit more variety because this product is just a lot easier to work with and it's very creamy, it's very easy to apply. It's just so easy and I don't have to add any additional beauty oils. So I'm going to bring this because it's just more convenient and it's a lot smaller. And the last palette I'm going to be bringing with me is going to be my face palette as far as cheeks and highlights and it is the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm bringing this one because currently this has been my favorite face palette that I've been using and I feel like it's got the perfect blushes for me it's got my like mineralized brush just gonna add a little bit of glow to my skin it's got my matte more neutral blush the amaretto shade and it's got a really beautiful peachy shade and it's got my two highlights i've got the champagne pop and i've got the prosecco pop so both of them are really good for me i love both and the prosecco pop is stunning so obviously this palette is just so convenient for me it's going to be perfect for that week because it's got everything i need in one package so moving on from these products i'm going to share with you my brushes now as far as brushes i have a lot of brushes because i just always forget to pack brushes and it's this 
the one thing that I don't want to forget when I'm going. So I'm just kind of overpacking as far as brushes go. And the brushes I'm bringing with me are all of these guys right here. And I love this Soeva bag. I bought it when it actually came with a collection I bought. It was like the, I don't know, my husband bought it for me. But it is such an awesome travel bag because it's got a section for your brushes. It's got a section for your, like, products that you want to travel with in a clear container. It's just really great. So the brushes I'm going to bring with me, obviously I'm going to bring a beauty blender because it's just a one-stop shop and it's good for multiple items when it comes to setting underneath your eyes, when it comes to applying your foundation, your concealer, you can always rely on your beauty blender because it is thebomb.com. The next brush I'm going to bring with me is this one from Sigma. This is the Soft Blend Concealer. This is the F64. I love this for placing on my lids. This is what I use to set my primer and my concealer. The next brush I'm going to be bringing with me is one from Zoeva. It is the 127 Lux Sheer Cheek Brush. This is the brush I've been using lately to apply my cheek products. So it's just an angled cheek brush. It's a goat haired brush I believe. So this is the one I'm going to bring with me because it's just so easy and I love it. The next brush I'm going to bring with me is one from MAC. It is the 125 SE. I don't know if this is still available in stores but this is a really great, um, it's a duo fiber brush. It's got some I don't know, goat hair I want to say, and some normal hair. And it just depends on what product you're applying. You can switch the sides. But I don't really use it for that aspect of it. I just use it, like, I dip it into the bronzer. I use it for bronzing. I'll dip it into the bronzer and just use it to bronze my face. And it gives me, like, a really beautiful, like, not contoured, but contoured bronze all over my face. So I love this brush. And for when I want a really, like, crisp bronze line, I'm going to bring my NARS Ita Kabuki because this is just a staple item for me. And always when I'm traveling, I bring this guy because it is just such an awesome brush. The next brush I'm going to bring, and this is going to be my highlighting brush, and I spoke about this before, it is the Anastasia A25 brush. This is my favorite highlighting brush right now. So this A25 brush is really great because it's just the perfect highlighting brush for me. It gives me precision and it gives me, I don't know, it's just perfect. <laughs> so the next brush, I have a lot of eye brushes because I just am somebody who tends to use like a billion brushes when I'm doing my eyeshadow because I feel like I need a brush for blending, I need one for packing in my mattes, I need one for packing on my shimmers, I need one, I just need a brush for everything when it comes to my eyes so I have a lot of eye brushes I use. So I'm bringing with me the MAC, this is the 242. This is my favorite for packing on shimmery lid shades, for packing on pigments, and I feel like it gives me that really nice precision, especially if I want to make a cut crease. I just love this for a lid shade color, and I'm bringing with me because it's something that I absolutely have to have. The next one I'm packing with me is the MAC. This is the 280, or the 289. This is what I typically use for applying my brow bone highlight. It's a goat haired brush. I just like it because I feel like sometimes it can go, it can be really easy to pack on too much product on your brow bone and I don't want it to be like bam brow bone on fleek. So I will use this because I feel like the goat hair tends to pick up less product and it's not as pigmented and it doesn't apply the product on as hard. The next brush I'm bringing with me is the Tapered Blending. This is the E35. It is a goat hair blending brush. Like, what more do I need to say? It's a blending brush, and I have to have multiple blending brushes. Blending is life. You know, you can't go out with a non-blended eye. It just is, it should be a sin or a crime, whatever. It's just not right. So, bringing this blending brush. The next brush I'm going to be bringing with me is the Concealer F75. This is just what I use for carving out my brow bone, and this is what I use for applying the concealer underneath that area. It's just a very precise brush and I love it. It's so easy to work with. I'm also bringing the Zoeva 223. This is my favorite brush for using to highlight my inner tear ducts. It just blends out the product so nicely and it's just the product, the brush that I always find myself using to apply my inner tear duct highlight. So for blending out my lower lash line, I'm bringing this generic pencil brush. This is my favorite pencil brush. It is like some off-brand like MAC but not MAC. My husband bought this for me. He bought me a whole set of MAC brushes from off of like eBay or something. He's like, 
oh, I got you this whole MAC brush set. And it was a MAC. I was like, oh, it's cute. I mean, like, you can't knock him for trying. He thought he was getting himself a bargain because MAC brushes are, like, super duper expensive. So I actually really love this brush. It's just a generic pencil brush. I just feel like it blends out the product. The next brush I have is the Sigma. This is the E40 brush. This is my favorite brush for getting a precise blending. The other brush that I showed you, the E35, I believe it is, this one is a little bit bigger, so it covers a wider space, whereas this one, the E40, is a little bit more like close together. It's a little bit more dense, so it packs on product a little bit more precisely, and I like that about it, but I like both. I have to have both, obviously. The next brush I have in here is the short shader. This is the E20. This is what I like to use to pack on products on my waterline, on my lower lash line. I feel like it packs on products really precisely and it's really easy and it's not too like harsh because I feel like for me, that under eye area is very sensitive. So depending on the pencil brush or whatever I'm using down there, I have to be careful because it like feels like it's scratching my eyes because it's super sensitive. So another blending brush I'm bringing with me is my Zoeva. This is the 228 brush. I love this because it is a perfect blending brush because it's so precise. It's got a tapered top so it really gets into the socket when I really want my socket to be defined with a deeper shade. I feel like this is the brush that I always use so of course I'm bringing it with me. The next brush I'm bringing is this Sigma. This is the F35 brush. This is just to dust away any excess like powders and things like that. This is the brush that I always use after I'm done baking my product. This is the brush I use to get rid of the excess product. And lastly, I am using this, this is a Tarte double-ended brush. It's a angled brush, so this is what I'm going to be using to apply my dip brow. And it's got a spoolie at the end. I love this brush because it is double-ended and it's so easy to work with. So I tried to go really fast through the brushes because I didn't want to be talking on here forever. So those are all the brushes that I'm going to be using. So this will conclude my what do I travel with video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I was kind of speeding through it because I didn't want to like drag on and on and on because I feel like it's very easy and this video could go from like 15 minutes to like 30 minutes and I didn't want to bore you guys to death. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and I hope you found it useful and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.